guys, welcome to Norley Family Farms. So I've gotten a lot of interest in our solar panels and the way we have them set up. Um, I never anticipated on making a video on them, but I do have uh, some video of me when I was building the brackets and some odds and ends video of us setting this up. So figured I'll put it together into a short video for you guys. So these panels, what they're attached to is a whole bracket setup that actually swivels completely all the way around and can pivot back and forth. Uh, I did it this way because I want to be able to access the panels and be able to turn them to track the sun. Um, this way allows me to clean the panels much easier, access them, do maintenance on them. Um, I built all these brackets out of 100% scrap metal that I had in a heap uh, around back. Um, and let me show you. Let me show you actually how these things work. So we'll go down to the end panel and I can show you. So this end panel. So this thing weighs a whole lot. I can track the sun pretty easily. Obviously you can see some wires and stuff dangling. We're gonna be hooking this up the rest of the way. We just got these panels up on here like a week ago. So we're doing some other projects right now, um, but we're gonna jump back on this project and finish it out completely uh, very soon, probably within a couple days. So um, let me show you up close. I can show you the brackets. So this is actually well pipe. Um, I had a 20 foot, actually two 20 foot sections of it that I cut up and we sunk it down uh, four feet down into the ground, into these sauna tubes down here, into some concrete. And we did that actually last winter. So this thing's been sitting idle, um, just the, the tubes. Uh, but I fabricated up this array in the summertime. So I did it where you can get this array exactly where you want it. Um, these U-bolts up here, let me show you. So these U-bolts, you can pick this panel up, get it exactly where you want it, and then tighten them down, um, and then it'll stay put. I just put this little foot guy down here. Uh, just because I'm, I'm kind of getting things perfected. I'll probably weld up a, a steel bracket that'll come up that'll allow you to uh, take you know any pressure off of this mount. Um, but these bolts that are welded up here, um, I have the one down at the end that has the bolts in it, but you can put the bolts in it, get this thing exactly where you want it. Say if it's like right there, Put the bolts in, tighten it up, and then this thing will stay put. Um, that's the idea. Now this thing, all the steel is basically the backbone for the the whole mount. I did uh, the whole frame out of wood, obviously, because I wasn't sure exactly where the solar panels were going to mount, like exactly the, the exact spot. So um, this thing will, Keep on getting perfected as time goes on, but this is our setup so far. Um, I can show you the back end of all of these. So all of these are mirror image to one another. There's four of them, four arrays. That that array that's right there, um, we still have to order two more panels for up top, um, and then that'll we'll finish that one off completely. Um, but in the middle, we have all of our wires that come, came up that are all ran into the shop. So we'll just have all these things connected um, and get that, that part done. I just put that over it for right now.
right, so in here is our utility room. Um, I wanted all of our systems to come in to one room um, that was clean and easy to uh, access everything. Let me show you an up close. So this is our main panel. It's a mess right now, but um, this is our solar panel or solar panel. This is our breaker box that our solar will feed into. Um, this is the, the new EG4 um, inverters all in one units. Um, these are our battery banks. These are extremely expensive, by the way. Um, but we are going to have the rest of this hooked up. I only have to hook up the batteries and hook up the feed into the, uh, the breaker box. And I think that's about it. But um, yeah, we, I had to order my PV array disconnects, which are these. This turns, this turns the um, panels on and off. Basically cuts the power from supplying the units so that you can safely work on stuff. Um, but I wired everything up myself. Took me a little bit of time, a little bit of research, but um, yeah, probably like three or four days of consistent wiring. And I got everything pretty much exactly the way I want it. Probably another 20 minutes worth of work and everything should be done. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, leave any comments that you uh, have on this and I will get back to you.